Hey Robin, how's it going? It's Honda here, Sultan Chrysler. Here is the 2015 Overland uh, Grand Cherokee Diesel. The one owner with no accidents and it's in really, really nice shape. I did give it a rinse, uh, just so you know, just so you can kind of appreciate the uh, metallic paint. So I do have the lights on. This does have the daytime running lights. I know it's flickering. That's just a camera trick. Um, but it does have the nice uh, HID headlights. Uh, you do have your regular uh, fog lights as well. Uh, and then obviously this one has the adaptive cruise control, the collision mitigation, uh, lane keeping assist. So you do have your radar actually just below there. Now I know we had talked about possible rust, but this one's actually very clean. Like I uh, will open the door jam so you can actually get a chance to look as well. Even the rims are in nice shape. The windshield looks like it is immaculate, which again in Alberta is a little rarity. We have the panoramic sunroof on this one too. so. Definitely is in nice shape. Now, a few small things. I see that uh, one small little scuff just on the bottom here. I do want to make sure, yep, yeah, so that is the scuff. It's not just dirt. Um, and then, let's kind of get some of these doors open here. Actually, maybe I'll do that after. I'll give you a full rundown first. Uh, so it does have the power tailgate. It does have the sensors in the rear. It does also have the full tow package with the wiring. <laughs> Uh, in the back as well, if you notice, we do have a full-size spare. Uh, you do not see that too often nowadays. A couple grocery tie hooks. You do also have a privacy cover, uh, which is really nice. But nice look on the inside. This one has not been smoked in, just so you know. There's no smoke. Uh, no weird odors coming from the vehicle itself. But definitely pretty sharp, especially being a 15. Now, in the interior, this kind of gives you an idea of how much the client took care of it. Um, but this one is definitely very clean. No rips, no tears. Again, as I mentioned, you do have power seats on both sides on this one. Uh, blind spot assist as well. Power seats with your lumbar setting. And again, very minimal, minimal wear here. Because a lot of times this portion is can be ripped to shreds, right? Um, but other than that, I'm just going to hop in. So we do have power folding side mirrors which is really cool um and then also this is a push button ignition we do have the faux i don't believe it's actually real leather sorry let me clean that i don't believe it's actually real leather but it definitely does feel nice in the hands nice stick steering wheel you do have the adaptive cruise function right here as i mentioned the collision mitigation um and you know what i think the lane keeping assist is actually one thing that this doesn't have um, it does have an eco mode and here let me just pull a little bit out of the way 122,391 kilometers I mean it's driving really really nice I'll tell you that okay so air conditioning is blowing ice cold that's one thing I always check um, and again you get this nice digital uh, dash in the middle here with the digital screen these are going to be your regular um, uh, readouts but the nice thing is is I mean, that almost looks Mercedes, right? So, I mean, I know this was uh, the chassis, and I believe the frame is, is from uh, the Mercedes ML or GL. So, this is kind of in the Daimler Chrysler days. So, I mean, a super solid vehicle. This thing feels planted on the ground, to say the least. Uh, and you do have lots of nice leather, right? So, leather all over the dash. Now, this one particularly as well does have a, a spot to maybe update the navigation in the future it does also have your usb and your auxiliary and an actual proper plug-in on the side now this one also does have the air suspension it does work okay so i have tried that out um, and i will take a look at the inspection on this one as well so it does have an auto mode sand mode snow mud rock uh, and then obviously a low setting hill descent control and then your um, adaptive air suspension. This one also does have navigation, nice backup camera, okay? That is adaptive, so when I'm turning my wheel here, you notice the lines are moving. That center line right there is the line up a hitch for you. Another thing I probably should mention is the sound system. So this does have a really, really nice sound system. Uh, let me actually find something for you. No, not there. Let's see, surround sound on, equalizer. Let's give you an idea of the bass a little bit here. Really nice sound system. So 
sounds really nice. So you do have some tweeters in the side there as well. So you definitely get a um, very nice and balanced sound system. So there's no like bad distortion or quality of actual audio. Let me pull it up right over here. But honestly, even on the drive, this one literally was just inspected. Um, so I know it was a fresh trade. We actually acquired this, I believe, a day or two ago. I believe it was two days. Um, but believe it or not, I mean, they did have a quick turnaround on this one. And uh, we do have a full inspection done. So it's not typical. You're going to have an inspection done that quickly unless your vehicle is super clean. Um, now, on the drive, steering feels super tight. Brakes feel good. Not too uh, spongy or, or uh, not too tight. Um, so I'm just going to give it a quick park over here. Yeah, handles very well. Brakes feel nice. I mean, no weird noises like suspension wise, nothing but struts or shocks or anything like that. So definitely a nice thing to note there. And again, let me just kind of give you a little last shot of the door jams. I know we were talking about maybe some rust, but no. I mean, this one is clean. Typically, this bottom portion is where you're going to actually see rust. And I mean, as you can tell, this thing is very clean. And I think if there's one blemish to note... Oh, wow, that even looks like it's on the outside. But that is one little blemish to note, okay? Um, let's see here. So, door jams again. Very clean, no rust. Same thing on this side. So yeah, those are typically the portions you're going to have it right off the hopper or even on the tailgate. Right, and this tailgate is clean all the way through okay so clean 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 i mean this whole car is clean if you ask me uh, let's turn this off for you oh and then one last thing i thought i'd mention is like even on the the seat belt itself it just seems like there's a little wear just on the edge okay so it's just one thing to note if you notice it's a lot tighter up here over here, it kind of starts getting a little fuzzy. So, I mean, obviously the seatbelt itself is not going anywhere, but uh, I'll definitely take a look and uh, see the inspection as well here for you. Uh, another thing to note, you got two position driver memory, so that's a nice touch. And then, a little bit of a mismatch over here. One small blemish that was actually touched up as well. And then what? faint one just on the exterior over here so i mean yeah really nice shape but let me know what you think 780-932-7597 again it's hondo robin from uh, south town chrysler